Hello, hello, hello. I am your spiritual transformational life coach, Trisha Booker, here with Kingdom Business. Well, we are empowered. Well, we heal, we get delivered, and we get free. We know who we are. We elevate our minds and our spirits and we raise and expand our consciousness. So us, we walk in our true divine purpose and power. And that is the truth of who God has created us to be. Kingdom people, kingdom people, kingdom people. I have to remind you that we are, we are, we are history makers. We are world changers. We are dream successors. We are wealth generators. We are manifestors. We are curse breakers. And we are transformers. More than meets the eye. Yeah, kingdom people. So, kingdom people, I, you know I have to take the time to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for viewing my videos. Thank you for the likes, the subscribes, for the shares, for all of the financial contributions to my channel and all the seeds that you sow into me and my ministry for all your emails, for all the bookings. It is highly appreciated here. Thank you for all that you do here in kingdom business. Thank you, kingdom people. And so, kingdom people, as you already know, and if you don't know, now you know. I am here to drop this beat, this word, this message. Yeah. So, yeah, kingdom people, I came back to just let y'all know what's going on. This is what's going on, kingdom people. Nothing new, but this just being on my spirit. They are judging you. Of course they are. <laughs> they are judging you, kingdom people. And they are judging you because... Well, kingdom people, some people don't understand you. They don't understand how you move and how you operate like this, what your deal is. They don't know your business. They don't know how you do what you do. They don't understand who you are. You're not into the kind of things that they're into. They don't, so they judge you. They don't get you, so they judge you. And people do tend to judge what they don't understand. But that just comes from a place of ignorance, lack of understanding, lack of evolution, and even insecurity. Because everyone is not gonna be exactly the same. Everybody is not gonna be into the same things. Everybody are not is not gonna be in, at the same place. So people are judging you because they don't understand you. You operate a certain kind of way, kingdom people. You operate kingdom. <laughs> Cause you're kingdom people, right? <laughs> they don't understand that. Carnal, excuse me, kingdom people. Carnal minded people don't understand kingdom-minded people, so they judge you. Worldly-minded people don't understand kingdom-minded people, so they are judging you as if you're the problem. <laughs> yeah, kingdom people, um, these people operate in a 3D while you operate in a 5D. That's third-dimensional. 3D is third dimensional. You operate in a fifth dimension. You operate in a spiritual realm. You're here on earth. You operate in a spiritual realm. You're very spiritual. You walk back by spirit, not necessarily by your flesh. And so they don't understand that because they're in their flesh. Again, they're carnal. So they're judging you because they don't understand you, kingdom people. So... It was on my spirit this morning to share this as well. Many of you are healers. Many of you, God has here on this earth, part of your purpose, should I say, is to help heal humanity. As we know, we in a fallen world, um, very broken world. And so, you know, humanity is broken. Humanity has a lot of healing to do. And so many of you are he here to be a catalyst for that healing, to help raise 
the vibration in this planet to help it to evolve, to help people to evolve, to help people to rise into the truth of who they are, who God has called them to be, to help people to rise into their God self, to help people to embody the Christ. You're here to do that. Therefore, kingdom people, you are a leader. And so some of these people judge you because you won't follow them. Because you won't do what they do. Because you're not like them. And they judge you because you're not like them. Again, as if everybody's supposed to be like them. Again, these people are clearly unevolved. These people lack any spiritual growth or even spiritual... Even if they have understanding, they're not walking in the wisdom of it. Because some people do understand things. A lot of people know scripture. They know Bible. They know all kind of other things. But wisdom is something that they lack. And so these people that I'm speaking of in particular that are judging you. The fact that they're judging and then being and judging you unjustly indicates where they're at. But. They're judging you for where you're at. You're more evolved. And that's no shade to nobody because, again, we're, we're here to evolve. Unfortunately, some people just aren't. And these are the ones that are judging you. The ones that I heard not long ago that are comfortable. They're in the comfort zone. And they're judging you because you... You don't want to be in that kind of a comfort zone. Again, you're a leader. Again, you're driven. Again, you're called to purpose. Again, you're moving in your calling. Now, that doesn't mean that these ones may not have originally had that as well, but because they're not moving in it, operating in it, again, they're in their comfort zone. They're judging you for actually answering God's call and moving in it. Again, they don't understand how you move, how you do what you do, and maybe even how you respond or don't respond to things. Because again, you are operating in your spiritual self, in your God self. And they don't get that. Carnal minded people don't get it. So they judge you. Okay. Now, also, kingdom people, some of these ones that are judging you are some of the people who have tried to cause you harm, have tried to hurt you, um, break you, trick you, <laughs> use you, did all kind of crazy stuff to you. And you don't want to have anything to do with them because you know who they are. You know their intentions. You know what they're about. You know what their deal is. And you don't want to have no parts of them. Understandably so. <laughs> So they judge you for that. They judge you because you protect yourself. They judge you because you don't want to have anything to do with anything that's toxic, demonic, or has ill will towards you. Which is, that's right, kingdom people. This is how they're judging you, kingdom people. They're saying things like, she thinks she all that. He thinks he all that. They think they better than, they on their high horse. They're arrogant. They're saying things like that to judge you. Again, because, listen, they couldn't have their way with you. Because they didn't get what they were trying to get out of you or whatever they were trying to pull. And some of them, I'm literally hearing, are still trying. I'm even hearing some of these ones, ooh, mm, are trying to figure out a way to destroy you. They're trying to figure out a way to destroy you. And I'm, and I'm hearing what I'm saying. What God is saying is figure out a way. Which goes back to they're judging you because you don't want to have nothing to do with them because of all that they've done. You see right through them. You know everything. You know they're always plotting on you. Everything they do is a plot and a plan to get you. And again, I'm hearing some of them are trying to figure out how to destroy you. Now, these same ones are judging you, judging you like you doing something to them when they're the ones who are trying to harm you. And even I am um, keep hearing destroy you. Now, this not all of them. 
But some of some for whoever this is for, I keep hearing this. They're trying to destroy you. They're trying to figure out a way to destroy you. But at the same time, they're judging you and saying you think you all that. Or it's you. They're making you the problem when they're the ones trying to hurt you. You see how I twist that is? But we're not going to go into all that kingdom people. Not today. Not today. They're judging you and saying that you think you're better because you want better. Because you don't want to be amongst. And I'm hearing <laughs> bottom feeders. That's what I'm hearing. Crabs in a barrel. Is that? Yeah. Even gutter. No shade to nobody. I'm not talking down on nobody, but I'm just expressing the nature of these kind of people. You don't want to be where they at. You want to go for what God has got have for you. And again, you're not allowing people to have their way with you. And so they judge you and say that you think you better. You think you better. Oh, she just on her high horse. That's what I'm literally hearing. Oh, he just, he just think he all that because... This is another one that people say. You forgot where you came. They forgot where they came from. For them ones that knew you way back then. Kingdom people. You ain't forget. You know exactly where you came from. But you know you want to go somewhere else. And somewhere else is where God is leading you. You ain't forget. But just because you came from there. Don't mean you supposed to stay there. That was a time in your life. That was a part of your life. Life goes on. You're supposed to evolve in life. You're supposed to grow. You're supposed to go further and move ahead. Further and further into what God has purposed for you. That's what you're supposed to do. But in their feeble minds, sorry, kingdom people, not sorry, really, because that's what it is. They try to say, you think you're better. And again, you are better than certain things. You're better than... Let allow people to use you. You better than hanging around somebody that's toxic. You better than falling into people's traps that you know they're trying to trap you and get you. Yeah, you got you are better than that. I got a love. <laughs> Check that out right there. Y'all seen that kind of people? Cause you are better than that. So you know what I'm saying. Anyway, they're judging you because you want better. They're judging you because you ain't trying to be on that lower level crap. I say that. <laughs> that they're on. They again they want you to follow them and be on where they be on what they're going and be where they at. And that's not what you are. You have interests that are something outside of what they used to. I'm hearing ghetto. Some people are just ghetto. But you have interest. You're you're probably someone who's educated. You're probably someone who learns to love, learn and research. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just literally hearing like anthropology, photography. You probably interested in the galaxies. I mean, I'm just throwing stuff out here. These are things that are really out here. These are really subject matters. You can go to any library and to any bookstore and find a wealth of different kind of different things people are interested in different things i'm not interested in certain things that other people are interested in and some things i may have a commonality with with some people you you see what i'm saying so the point is you're interested in certain things that's beyond i'm trying to find a better word kingdom people i don't i keep hearing ghetto you're interested in things outside of their scope. There it is. So they judge you for that and say you think you better or they think you're weird. That's because you're interested in things. You're, you're broadening your minds. You expand your horizons. You're a learner. I keep hearing you're a learner. You're interested in other things besides <laughs> ghetto. And when I say ghetto, I ain't even just talking about black stuff. Just ghetto minded. I'm going I'm to leave that alone, kingdom people. They're judging you because they don't understand you. They're judging you because you're different from them. And we're all different. That's part of 
how God made us different. <laughs> you're being who you are. You're comfortable with that. Again, they can't. some of them can't have their way with you in a not good way. Now, if you want to have your way with me and bless me, I might roll with that. I ain't say trick me and try to think you, try to make me think you blessing me. See, I see through that too. Anyway, came the people. They judging you. But this is the kicker. Matthew 7, 1 through 3 says, Judge not, that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with that measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. So the judgment they're putting out to you, unjustifiably, really, is the same judgment that they're going to receive. And usually, these kind of people can do shit, but they can't take it. They can't handle somebody judging them. Furthermore, they care a lot about what people think. So to care so much about what people think of you, but you're so judgy towards somebody else, unjustifiably, <laughs> it's beyond me. <laughs> and you came to people. But, again, they can't handle the judgment that they're putting out. They don't like being judged themselves. Now, listen, we shouldn't care. I know I don't about people judging us. This is part of what comes with being kingdom people, right? This is, it is what it is. We know who we are, so we don't care what people say about us. Um, many of times, it's done to try to discourage you or whatever, break you, and it doesn't do that for us. We're just aware when they're trying to do that. But again, we don't care. As kingdom people, we don't care. We know that that's their problem. We know that th their judgment is a reflection of them and who they are and where they are. Their lack of evolution and growth. And it reflects their insecurity. So we don't take that, that on because we don't care about being judged. We have tough skin. We're used to this. We know how this goes. But they do care. They can't take it. They don't like being judged. They be ready to fight and box if they hear somebody say some uh, talk stuff. We don't even care. We just be like. Now, Kiara Shear has a song out. Well, it's kind of old now. Please don't judge me. I love that song. Love her. <laughs> but I love the song, but I don't care for what it's saying. It be cracking me up when I hear it because I be singing. I be like, hmm. I say, please don't judge me. I'd be like, I don't care. Because, you know, people do say that. Please don't don't judge. I'm the opposite. I'm like, I don't encourage you to judge me, but do, it, do what you want. That's a reflection on you, not me. Now, judging does have its place. Where we supposed to judge situation circumstances so we know how to navigate and do what we need to do so we know what to move around what we entertain what we do all that kind of thing you judge circumstances not necessarily people unjustifiably even how they say the good a good judge of character just means you can see what a person is what they're about that just means you can see but attacking someone judging them in an attacking manner should i say you're gonna get that right back furthermore if you judge pro properly you judge a situation right you judge the circumstances right you judge someone graciously you're gonna receive that back it says judge you're gonna get that measure ye meet it shall be measured to you again so even if you it's saying judge not but it's like not in an unrighteous way, not unjustifiably. But when you judge, and really that's not judging, when you're acknowledging someone's greatness. 
because you were able to see it, identify it, and judge it, or something wonderful, you're still going to receive that back in that measure. I'm hearing a hundredfold, a thousandfold. You know why? Because you're putting out good, so you're going to receive it. You put out that nasty judgment, you're going to receive it. King of people, I'm going to leave that be. I'm going to let that rest right there. Okay? Okay. If you like this video and or if it resonates with you, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, kingdom people. Also, click on that red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. And if you haven't, what are you waiting for, kingdom people? What or what or what? Click on that bell right next to that red subscribe button so that you can get a notification every time I upload a new video. Something like this from kingdom people. Also, if you're interested in any of the services that I presently offer, all that information can be found right down below in the description box. And yeah, Kingdom People, Um, before I go, let me remind you, Kingdom People, we are, we are, we are, we are history makers. We are world changers. We are dream successors. We are wealth generators. We are manifestors and we are curse breakers. We are transformers more than meets the eye. Yeah, Kingdom People. Mm -hmm. I love you all so very much I really appreciate you all being here with me Spending this time with me And with that being said King of people Much love, light And peace <laughs> And many blessings to you all <laughs> King of people I think it's time for me to go <laughs> What y'all think? Mm -hmm. That's my time King of people Jesus, girl, she out. Peace.